Welcome back to the Nikki Clark Radio Show on We Are Hotline, and we have another transformational um, story on the um, line with us today. She's a fantastic guest uh, who is out there in uh, the trenches working hard to heal, to motivate, and to transform the lives of others. Please welcome on the show healer and coach Donna Hall. How are you doing today, Donna? I'm good, Nikki. Thanks for having me on your show. I'm grateful. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We're grateful for your time, and we appreciate it. So uh, we'll get right to it. Um, Tell me a little bit about your background uh, leading up to what you're doing today. So I spent many years in the corporate world doing HR and coaching work. So I got a really good sense of people, and I understand, you know, what matters most to people. I have to tell you, though, the drive that I have right now comes from my family. I come from a family of entrepreneurs. Both my grandmothers Mm -hmm. took over family businesses when their husbands died, and they became just successful businesswomen. Um, They were able to put themselves first. And what I also noticed is that they were able to bring healing and to give back to the people and communities they lived in. They focused on helping people to become self-sufficient. Fantastic, fantastic. So that's really um, a great motivational force for you. Now, it is. It's describe... like a family legacy, actually, to be honest. Yes, yes. It's in your DNA for sure. It is. Um, <laughs> tell me about um, the company that you started and, and who are the people that come to see, um, to see you for, for some assistance? So my company is called Me First Now. And the, mm-hmm. the vision I have is this, it's a call to action which is supporting people to focus on developing an intimate connection with themselves. And the call to action is really for people who are, they're overwhelmed, they're stressed, they're really busy in their day-to-day world, and they're not putting themselves first. So they're really, even if they're successful, they're feeling really depleted at the end of the day. And the call to action is put yourself first. Start to feel more clarity in your life, more commitment, and live a more fulfilling and easier life. Well, that's that's a really important uh, reminder for all of us, um, especially people who are um, gifted in working with others. Uh, we we give our energy, and sometimes, just like you said, we don't replenish. Right. It's, it's so um, true. So that's a really necessary part of just um, uh, being a nurturer. You have to nurture yourself. It, uh, and it all starts with you. Uh, you know, it's, it's so mm-hmm. true. And, and anyone in the healing business or, like, doing the work that you're doing, you're giving a lot. You've got to remember it, it. Nurture you, then you can nurture others. That's really the Absolutely. key. Absolutely. So tell me about you and the transformation that's happened in your life. You know, when you engage in something that is so fruitful and has so much of an impactful um, way of, of changing people's lives, it must transform you. So how has your life been transformed? Well, you know what? The, the passion I have was born out of a, just a lot of pain, to be honest. Um, you know, I three years ago was in a, in a situation where I was one of those people I just talked about, you know, sort of overwhelmed, not feeling really worthy. And what I realized is that I remembered my grandmothers and I remembered how they would make their lives work. And I started to dig deep and really focus Mm -hmm. on me and what mattered most to me and really started to get to know the woman for who I really am, not what I uh, was up to doing. And what I noticed was I started to, with focusing on me, I got a lot more clarity. Got it, yeah. and you know, started to commit more to principles that helped me. So meditation was one, um, you know, just you know, healthcare, um, physical care, and it helped me to start to break through some of those barriers that I consider to be. I, I call them constrictive energies, which mm-hmm. you know help you to don't help you to see clearly. And so, it just it was a time in my life where it was like, you know, stuck up against the wall. I was on my own with my girls. I had left my job because I couldn't sustain that, plus take care of my girls. And it was a Mm -hmm. time of just deep soul searching. And what I found is I got really intimate with myself. There was no Mm -hmm. one to blame or to, you know, I had to look at myself in the mirror and go, okay, where are you going to go from here? 
and, you know, really just tear away all the stuff that had been, you know, I had piled on that became my story that really wasn't real. It was like a barrier to me being who I really am and to being successful. So it was like a period of just deep, I'd say soul searching and just really connecting in with me first, getting really intimate with myself. Yes. And and I, I love what you said about, you know, um, just just being a detriment to your own self. Sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. Uh, so it's it's, it's so really true. important to to love yourself and to be at peace, and and forgive yourself for whatever you know has transpired in your life. So that's that's a beautiful thing, and and uh, we appreciate how your transformation has been such a great effect on so many people. So I know the listeners right now are, are looking forward to getting information on how to connect with you. How can they do that? So they can reach out to me via my website, which is mefirstnow.com. And what I, yes. I want to offer to anyone who's listening in is if you're really ready to get that profound shift in your life and have a deeper connection mm-hmm. with yourself and with others and break through some of those barriers, I I would love to offer you, for the first 10 people who reach out to me, there's a form on my website if you scroll down on sort of that first page, and it gives you a free energy consultation. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Wow. Well, um, Donna, I just want to thank you so much for your time. I want to thank you for, um, you know, giving us, uh, great, you know, great tips and reminders on how to um, take back some of the energy and um, just rejuvenate ourselves. So important. Uh, so we thank you for that. And you know, I'm really looking forward to having you on our uh, live show coming up very shortly. Uh, and I know that the live audience are just going to love uh, what you um, have to share with them. So thank you again for your information. And for those who just tuned in now to listen to the interview and you missed the earlier part, you don't have to worry because we're going to repeat the interview throughout the week, Monday to Friday, on We Are Hotline uh, from 11 a.m. to noon. So you've been listening to the Nikki Clark Radio Show with our very special guest, Donna Hall, uh, health uh, healer and uh, 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 you know life coach extraordinaire. Um, so thank you again, Donna. And you have thank you, Nikki. Day. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in June. Me too. Take care. Bye-bye.